Plastic bottles are some of the biggest contributors to block drains in Barbados. And with the rise in intensity and frequency of rainfall, block drains help increase the likelihood of flooding. As a result, the work done by the Drainage Division of the Ministry of Transport and Works is essential. Drainage Division is responsible for the drainage systems within the urban and the rural quarters of Barbados. We're responsible for maintaining wells and maintaining open drains water course, just to name a few. While cleaning the drains, we see char tires, rims. Like bottles, prayers, bikes, yeah, the unimaginable we find beds, wood, metal, clothing, dead animals sometimes, wood from like construction sites. You can even see um feces, tool, it's a metal off of cars and everything we clean up the air. One issue is illegal dumping and pushes up being cut and stuff and just littering in general. So over the past few months, we have been seeing an increase in intense weather events and that has resulted in severe flooding across various parishes, in particular in areas which are accustomed to flooding, but also in some areas which are not accustomed to flooding as well. So because of climate change, we have had to change the way in which the drainage unit operates. Uh, we've increased the number of water courses across the country that have all cleared. Um, we have also all looked at addressing the number of well contractors that are employed under the drainage unit to clear a number of the wells. So drainage has been particularly stretched, as you can imagine, because of the number of phone calls that we've been getting, a number of the reports we've been getting across the uh, country. We have actually increased the number of teams that are attached to the drainage unit. Uh, we've also been working with the entities like NCC and also SSA. And these guys work under very you know, difficult circumstances to be able to clear the drains. And what we are finding is that you know, Barbadians have to take greater responsibility for their actions as well. We're here at Trader Street Sunday morning playing the drainage system because during the week, normal working hours, it would be busy with vehicular and pedestrian traffic, so we utilize Sunday as part of the cleaning routine. What we find now in Tudor Street is a lot of bottles, styrofoam containers, and plastic wrappers. This now poses a threat to the functioning of the system because it creates blockage. And a sign of water will be a breeding ground for mosquitoes. We have water in one side of the drain up to about 8, 10 inches. And, and then the other section, we have garbage right up to the top. So we're attempting now to remove all that blockage so that the water can flow naturally through the system and exit through the O4 drains that we would have along the coastline. I think we all have a part to play in, in really trying to reduce and to minimize the amount of garbage that is clogging up the drains, which in turn then leads to flooding of households and also of um, our roads across the island. Sometimes it's quite challenging to get into a small drain. Like, it's so hot inside the drain, a lot of take all that stuff. So at least you actually need to take a break. It's so hot nowadays. Well, before you saw a drainage, I know you saw it literally as serious as no. But now that it's where any drainage division, I realize that litter is a real serious problem to the country. It's called a lot of blockages, that is caused floods, don't smell nice, it don't be nice to the country. I will always be against to uh, start littering, be clean and decent in your country. And I advise the Bajans to please use the garbage can. Just throw the garbage in your vehicle or in your bike or something until you see a garbage can. If you know you live certain places like cats and dogs and stuff at night running around, that will tell you it. Try to put something heavy on top of the lid of the can. When you get recyclables, you either recycle them or you put them in the garbage. Also, items and stuff, either you give them away or you put them in the garbage and dispose of them properly. Disposing of our garbage properly now will help alleviate flooding in Bridgestone and mitigate the flooding that we experience through Barbados. So currently we have about seven sites where we have um, engaged the services of um, engineers to be able to look at flood engineering designs. So we have finally been able to get those designs put into motion and very shortly we will be able to see some work being done in those areas. So if we can teach and help each other to dispose of our garbage properly, then we will not have this kind of effect on the system. Let's help keep Barbados clean.